Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we are going to understand mounting events. In React component lifecycle, we have mounting events in which we have four methods. We are already familiar with two methods of mounting events, which is constructor and render. You already know what is the use of constructor and render method. And these two methods are part of mounting events. Now, let's understand the other two methods which is not that much important like these two are, but important when you are building an application. Now, let's understand how you can implement these two methods. So, I will just first create a new component in my application. So, here I have my component directory. I will just right click here and say new file and just create a new component. So, I will just say life cycle dot JSX, right? And here, just import the React module with component class IMRC and press enter. Just after that, I just wanted to import the DOM module also. So I will just say IMR import React DOM, right? And just say enter. Just after that, here I will create a class. So I just need to say CC. So this will create a simple class for us, right? and just specify a class name so i will just say life cycle right just remove this state and in the return statement i will just create a division tag with the class name app and just specify h1 heading tag with react dome right now here i will just first create component will mount method so i will just say here component will mount right i will just specify parenthesis and the body of this method this method uses camel case notation the first character of the word should be lowercase and the after should be uppercase whenever react render a component it's going to call component will mount first this method is only called one time which is before the initial render method. Since this method is called before render, our component will not have access to the native DOM. We also will not have access to the children's because they are not created yet. The component will mount method is a chance for us to handle configuration, update our state and in general prepare for the first render. Just after that, we have another method which is component did mount right specify parenthesis and the body of this method now whenever this method is called react has already rendered our component and put it into a dome therefore if there is any initialization you want to perform that rely on the dome do it here this method is called once all our children elements and our component instance are mounted into the native ui now let's add some statements in these two methods. So in the component will mount method, I will just say console.log and print a message executed before the component is mounted. Right? And here I will say executed after the component is mounted just after that here i will say console.log and call the react dom object and just find dom node and just specify this here i will just copy this statement and paste it here just wanted to execute this application so i will just save the changes and just say control backtick to start your development server i will just say npm start and press enter i wanted to change the component in the react dome first so i just wanted to import my file here first import lifecycle from component lifecycle and just remove this box and say 
life cycle save the changes you will get your react dom right right click here and say inspect on the console so when you execute this you will get the console message execute it before the component is mounted and the real dom will return null because you will not have access to the dom because it is not mounted yet on the other hand you will get console message executed after the component is mounted and you will get react dom element on the console in the component did mount method you can access the react dom you can use component did mount method to fetch data from the server with ajax call also if you need to initialize anything that relies on the dom you can do this component did mount method right that's it in the next lecture we will understand update events if you have any question you can ask me in the comment answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture